Mechanism of Water Transport in Plants Plants are stationary, having dead cells and their energy requirement is less. Their transport system is slow. Plants absorb minerals like nitrogen, phosphorus, magnesium, manganese, sodium, etc. from the soil. Roots absorb them and transport them to different parts of the plants. Just like humans, plants have a transport system of vessels and cells that transport water, minerals and other nutrients around the plant. Plants have two transport systems. These systems use two transport tissues called xylem and phloem and together they are known as vascular bundles. Xylem transports water and solutes from the roots to the leaves. While phloem transports food from the leaves to the rest of the plant. Parts of the plant are interconnected due to these conducting tissues. Mechanism of Water Transport Roots are in contact with water and minerals present in the soil. The tip of the plant root contain root hairs. There is a cell membrane and cell wall around the root hair. The root hair cells have higher concentration of solute within them, whereas the soil has low concentration of solutes. As a result, osmosis takes place and minerals and water enter into the root hair cells. The mixture of minerals and water moves from the root hair cells to adjacent cells by osmosis till it reaches the xylem vessel in the root. It enters the xylem through pits. Root pressure plays an important role in the transportation of water in the xylem. Root pressure Various ions from the soil are actively transported into the xylem of the roots. A result, the concentration of ion in the xylem cell is higher than in the soil. Water therefore passes from soil into the xylem by osmosis, pushing the fluid up the stem. This phenomenon is called as root pressure. This pressure is enough to move the water up in tall trees, though it is adequate in small plants like herbs and shrubs or even small trees.